It's not like that matters anymore, you know? I went to your dojo. I saw your old sensei. What the hell happened? I thought you said he was gone. Look, I know we want to win, but it's got to be the right way. Cobra Kai is one of the most popular shows on Netflix, and it's not hard to see why. It brings together what was great about the original Karate Kid movies, and then puts them to good use in a more modern setting with new kids learning from the old guard. It goes deep with plot, isn't afraid to push things in directions that other shows would be hesitant about, and so on. And with Cobra Kai Season 4, things are going to get even more intense. So given that, allow us to show you Cobra Kai Season 4 Top 7 Predictions to Happen. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. Out This Year? Let's start off with a prediction that many people hope is true and that many feel that Cobra Kai Season 4 might come out this year. Why is that? Because filming has been done for a little while now. Cobra Kai star Martin Cove on Twitter was the one who made the announcement by saying, Tonight, myself and the entire crew of Cobra Kai Season 4 officially wrapped. What a season, and what a year. A crew that is fearless and shows no mercy. Through COVID we pushed on, we struck first, and with a cast that strikes hard. You have more energy than I knew was humanly possible. The captains of our Cobra Kai ship, leading us to glory daily without your leadership, we would be lost in the waters. Thank you Netflix and SPTV for showing us how to sweep the leg day in and day out. To Ralph Macchio and William Zabka, the battle rages on. I couldn't be more humbled to work alongside you both. Who put the work in day in and day out and day in and day out? And to the fans, well, the real story has only just begun. But you know that. So get ready because Cobra Kai never dies. Star William Zabka joined Cove in celebrating the end of filming for season 4 of Cobra Kai with a Twitter post in which he said that it took three and a half months of filming to get it done, but it's done. Now Netflix has come forward and said that it'll release in Q4 of this year, which means we might not get it until January or as late as next March, but that could change, so take heart in that. Number 6. Two dojos, one left standing. Every season of Cobra Kai has had a purpose or goal that was realized by season's end. Season 1 was about Johnny getting his life back on track and resurrecting Cobra Kai to do it. Season 2 was about Daniel setting up Miyagi-Do to go and challenge the return of his nemesis, all the while bringing back John Kreese to make things even more dangerous. And the recent Season 3 was about both men picking themselves back up off the dirt when their ambitions and their rivalry took things too far and their kids and students got hurt as a result. Season 4 may not be here yet, but we know definitively right now what the goal is. Because throughout Season 3, Kreese has been a thorn in everyone's side, and at the end, everything boiled over. Danny and Johnny teamed up to take down the former war hero, and a challenge was made. At the returning All-Valley Tournament, if Cobra Kai loses, they're done. For good. Kreese obviously accepts the challenge, and at the end we see the students of Eagle Fang Karate – Eagles don't have fangs – and Miyagi-Do coming together to start their training and prepare for the All-Valley. This is obviously going to be the biggest part of the season, with both sides trying to forge themselves into something that can take care of the other side. Cobra Kai will become even more ruthless, and the now-fused dojo featuring LaRusso and Lawrence will work to form their own identity, which, honestly, is a bit of a prediction in and of itself. Number 5. Different Ideologies, Same Problem Cobra Kai is very much about the next generation of karate kids, but it's also a show that is still about the classic rivalry between the kid with no dojo and the ace degenerate. Johnny and Daniel have gone at each other a lot over the first three seasons, and while they do work together at times for the greater good, it never lasts. A great example of this was in the cold open for one of the later episodes, where Johnny and Daniel are teaching their students, and one of them is teaching aggression, while the other is teaching self-defense. It's true that both of them want Kreese gone, there's no denying that, but their methods and training styles are, well, to say the very least, very different. Whereas Kreese will have his students going and focusing on one thing, on one goal with absolute uniformity. He'll be training them to be killers in the tournament so that Cobra Kai has no chance of losing. Daniel and Johnny will no doubt struggle, not just to work together, but to unify their students in a singular line of thinking. Remember, many were former Cobra Kai at one point, and others liked certain elements of the teachings of that dojo, like Hawk. We know that both of them want to get rid of Cobra Kai for good, but as Miyagi would say, they need to find balance. But for them, 
that might not be possible, or at least not without some serious help. And unfortunately for them, we know that Chris is gonna get help from an old friend. Number 4. The Return of Terry Silver Now for a prediction that we know is happening for sure. Footage-wise, Cobra Kai Season 4 honestly doesn't have anything from the main show, if you will. But there is a catch, because not too long after the reveal of the end of filming, Netflix decided to go and put out a teaser for the return of Terry Silver. Not much was shown, but it did feature a shot of the back of the older Terry Silver as his younger self stated lines from The Karate Kid Part 3 that made him such an intimidating presence. Netflix added to that by stating, Have patience, he's just getting everything rolling. Silver returns to the dojo for Cobra Kai 4. This is a payoff to a major storyline in Season 3, because in that season we saw the true origins of John Kreese and how he came to be the brutal and sadistic man that created Cobra Kai. Through those flashbacks, we learned that Terry Silver was in his unit and Kreese saved his life. Fast forward to the present, and after a declaration of war at the next All-Valley Tournament, Kreese made a call. But to whom? Now we know for certain, Terry Silver is back, and if he's anything like he was in the last movie we saw him in, he's gonna help turn the Cobra Kai kids into ruthless killing machines of a sort in order to keep his best friend's dojo alive. So what if there was a counteracting force to that? Number 3. Julie Pierce One of the best parts about Cobra Kai by far is that they respect the mythology of the franchise and build upon it. And as Season 3 showed, they're willing to bring just about anyone back if it helps the story. So why not help the Karate Kids and Johnny and Daniel find their way by introducing them to the one who came… next? Yep, we're talking about Hilary Swank via her character Julie Pierce from the next Karate Kid. She could be the balancing force to help them because she was like Johnny in her own way and then became someone like Daniel. And with Cobra Kai firing on all cylinders, they'll need all the help they can get. Number 2. Hawk Another prediction that is likely to happen is the continued redemption of Hawk. In Season 2 and 3, he became more and more brutal, ruthless, and downright evil by breaking Dimitri's arm. However, at the end of Season 3, he flipped the script again and helped save Dimitri and the others from Cobra Kai. No doubt he's gonna want to be redeemed even more and relearn what it means to be a good friend. But it won't be easy, no doubt. And we'll be there to see just how it goes. Number 1. Fight Finally and most epically, one prediction that everyone should expect is that the show is definitely gonna bring back the epic fight scenes that make it so special. They've even hired new stunt coordinators to help take things to the next level, if you will. That will be quite a challenge as the school riot, the house fight, and the masters match was something to behold over the course of the last two seasons. How are they gonna top it? We'll have to wait and find out, but with the All Valley coming, we might see some epic fights there if this season shows it. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Cobra Kai Season 4 and all that's likely going to happen in it? Do you think that some of those predictions will indeed come true? What do you personally want to see happen in the season? And what twists do you guess will happen that will rock people when they arrive? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.